Welcome back to AB Shop. In this video, we will try to make a rimmer. I need a special rimmer for make a special screw hole. So we will try to make this and also at the end of the video there will be a surprise. So let's try to make something. So what I have to make is a tool to make this uh, hole. This hole is a screw with uh, an M14 plus one. This means that uh, the pitch is fine. Uh, the hole that uh, we have to make before is of 13 millimeters. And I don't have a reamer of 13 millimeters. So I will make a reamer to make this. Well, we will start from a round bar of uh, 16 millimeters to make uh, the 13 millimeters. So we will make uh, this diameter. We will make uh, with the parting tool uh, the eight, and after with the other on the other side on the left, we will make uh, oh, the 10 millimeter. <coughs> Sorry, in the same time. So we will have uh, the perfect uh, axis uh, in this parts uh, in axis with this parts without rotate uh, I mean uh, we will make also a drill hole that will be a support in the future to cut uh, with the divisor so with the milli machine and okay so we we'll start from uh, a, a steel that uh, can be hard uh, it has uh, the 0.4 percent of carbon so will be hard uh, with flame with my flame and the final result have to be this so okay we start from the round bar and we see how it will be
So in my case, I have a, an end mill of 12 millimeters and I have to go to 13 millimeters. So uh, the rimmer have to be an hybrid between a rimmer and an end mill because uh, it have to cut uh, one millimeters in total. And it's a very big portion for uh, of material to cut for a rimmer. And so it will be an hybrid. Uh, usually when you have an end mill, uh, in the end mill, the tooth have this shape. So this, this, and this. Uh, this is the axis. Uh, we are watching uh, an end mill from the front side in this case. So for example, this is uh, the rotation of the end mill and this is uh, the part uh, that uh, you have to work. Here you can see that uh, we have uh, three angles. This is alpha or this is uh, beta. And sometimes uh, there is also this that is gamma. But the most important for uh, the cutting age so to be sure that the uh, the tooth will cut is alpha and beta so i can make beta and of course gamma but i cannot make alpha uh, in my case i have uh, a, an end mill that i will use that is make like this this is the arbor okay is uh, a three eight millimeters this is 10 millimeters this is four millimeters and here there is many cutting age but as you can see, when I will cut, uh, the plane will be at 90 degree and not uh, with alpha. So I cannot make alpha. And so, and so I have to make an hybrid. The hybrid that uh, I will make, uh, it will be something like this. So if uh, this is uh, the uh, 13 uh, millimeters of the, uh, uh, of the rimmer and this is uh, um, uh, the arbor, this will be not at 90 degree, but it will be something like this and something like this. So this is alpha. And so in total, we have alpha and beta. But in my case, alpha will be not in the, the plane of a, a usual um, end mill. Oh, you, you can see this is alpha and this is uh, uh, beta and this is gamma. Okay. And so we are speaking about this. So alpha, beta, and gamma. But uh, it will be something like this. In this case, uh, you can see that there is a small uh, angle also in this case. That is, is this. So I will try to reduce an edge to a point. If uh, the edge will be a point, of course, the, uh, the tooth will cut. And this is what I do. As you can see here, this plane is, uh, sorry, here there is an angle. Well, you can see that the uh, my finger go down. So there is an angle, this is this one, okay, and this one. And so we will try to have uh, a point. This is the reason why when you have, uh, for example, a parting tool and uh, you want to cut uh, a piece on uh, on the lathe, for example, something like this and like this. Okay, uh, the parting tools make a, a very big vibration because you are try to cut with a line and not with a point. Uh, usually, uh, the shape of uh, the um, of the uh, tools is something like a point. Um, with the insert uh, is more or less uh, a small sphere but uh, with the HSS uh, usually is a point a point uh, don't make a very high forces but the line yes and so this is the reason why when you try to cut with a line and not with the point you have a vibration you have a big forces uh, and it's difficult to make uh, the the section of the chips uh, and so on so this is uh, what uh, I try to make with my uh, dividing head and okay, we'll see if, uh, if uh, it will cut uh, or not. Well, this is the new layout that uh, I will use to make uh, the tooth. Here you can see one of my two dividing head. 
um, uh, this is fixed to the table to uh, a very special tinut and uh, a plate uh, that is behind. The plate that uh, you can see here, I, I made uh, by myself, uh, is uh, a plate uh, that uh, is milling in this uh, side and here there is uh, a tooth that uh, take uh, the plate uh, at uh, 90 degree between uh, this plane and uh, this uh, axis. In the free um, space uh, that you can see here, so one hole, two and three, so one, two and three, there is a small free tooth also, and so he can uh, uh, slip in this uh, direction. And when you have uh, to fix, uh, you fix uh, with uh, this one that is uh, inside behind the screw and uh, th this can be stopped uh, in place. This is uh, two special uh, T-nuts that uh, I made from a drawing of uh, Arl Hall. It's not my drawing, it's not my idea. I only make from solid with my milling machine. Uh, you can see that uh, there is uh, two small screw, one inside this hole and one inside this hole. So you slip inside uh, uh, this space of the table, you put and after you close the first screw. So this can be stay in place. After you stop the first screw, you can uh, move this screw that uh, uh, can rotate a little this uh, small plane and so push and make pressure to this plane. In this manner, the dividing head is uh, stopped in place and it's very easy and also uh, maybe you take a, a minute or more or less uh, to make uh, this uh, arrangement. Okay, so we try to make the first pass passage, sorry. We have to go... So. is the noise you can go up okay this is the one we try to make one millimeter. It's too much. Half. Big noise. distance of 10 okay we have to go to 9 and we are at 9.5, this is 9.5, 9.5 is the distance between the axis and the axis. Wow! the last passage at 9 so okay this is 9 make some oil if, if possible 
without destroy something. Okay. was the dividing head not uh, not a good uh, not a good noise because we are very near yeah very near okay this is the first toot okay the first toot is made and so now we have to turn over 45 degree the dividing head so we put it down and we rotate 20 30 40 40 45 this is 45 close and close okay so now we are ready to make it the other tooth okay Okay, so we are near to finish, so I'm very happy also, uh, as you can see all toots are formed, maybe uh, the next time uh, I will make uh, a, a low depth uh, to have uh, and also a low number of toots to have uh, a, a more thickness here. And I have make also, uh, I don't know if I can show, the 20 degree uh, angle that is here. And, okay. And also, as you can see, there is uh, the angle here, the depth, 
so okay, I think that uh, is near to finish. We have uh, to quench it in water with flame, and after we have to tempering, and uh, also it will be uh, finished. So for the moment, I have to say you that I'm very happy. Here the uh, the cutting edge uh, is very sharp. Also here. Uh, it's possible to to feel uh, that uh, uh, it will cut uh, of course uh, so okay now we go to uh, to quenching in water and and to see if uh, it will uh, be red uh, and also will make a good uh, uh, heat treatment This is the surprise. The surprise is uh, this sticker that comes from England, from my friend, the Axe Bichel. Uh, it has a fantastic channel and please uh, subscribe uh, to his channel too and you will find the link uh, on the description of my uh, video, on this video. So this is the first stickers of uh, this friend and okay don't have a very nice wall this is my small wall but uh, i hope that you like uh, to also my wall so thank you very much uh, and i hope that uh, you enjoy and you like my video so we will see you at the next time bye